Hello, uh, good evening, sir. Mr. Ramirez, welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you, sir? Uh, great. Thanks, and you? Oh, that's that's good. I'm oh, fine, sir. Um, we'll we're going to start in a moment. Uh, we're going to wait just one minute. And then we're going to start with the topic. We're going to do um, a review um, of the uh, topic that we were discussing yesterday. Um, and then we're going to see any topic um, that correspond for to, to tonight. And uh, yesterday I couldn't, uh, I couldn't uh, work on the exercise that you all, that you you have there in the platform because I, I said that uh, I was going to, well, I, I, I want to help you to solve those exercises um, there. Uh, and I mean, like, um, if you have any question about those exercises, maybe you can, you can, you, you haven't, you don't have a the correct answer, something like that. So I will be, uh, I'm going to take on this, uh, like some minutes um, in order to solve those um, problems there uh, with the exercises. Uh, well, we're going to start right now. Um, first of all, I want to tell you, well, I want to show you um, the PowerPoint presentation that we were discussing yesterday, okay? This, this is the first thing that we're going to be uh, doing. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, Miss, good evening. Welcome to this uh, video class. Um, you Thank working? you, teacher. Um, I only listen because I I am in my work, and oh, I okay. driving in uh, in a few minutes. Oh, okay, okay. Driving, so I I am with uh, my telephone, mm -hmm. and I I am in my car. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Don't worry. Um, you can be listen listening if you. Uh, if you want to participate, only if you have time, okay, don't worry, you can do it. Uh, okay, listen. only listening. Okay, very good. Um, let's see, welcome, Mr. Gaviria. Um, Thank you. To the Thank you. class. Okay, don't worry, Miss Campos. Um, I, I was telling you that I want you to, um, I want you to, to review this topic. Yesterday we saw how we construct sentences using have, plus object plus past participle, okay? And something uh, that we're uh, discussing about this is how, I mean, how um, we use these verbs to describe service performed and also, uh, and also how to use have or get. Uh, first of all, first of all, um, we said that we have to use the causative verbs and the structure of a causative sentence. Um, we discussed this, that a have and get have similar meaning a, when we construct something like that. And we said also that get is less formal than have, okay? Uh, I remember too that I said to you that we um, were like using a, get, I mean, um, future, uh, simple future, and also past uh, in sentence like, like, like this. And it doesn't matter if we use it, uh, if we use just uh, future, past, uh, present simple. So it doesn't matter the tense that, that we're using, but the structure of that sentence must be, um, uh, must be, Using the for formula that we that we saw yesterday, the formula, as I said before, is get plus um, object, okay, plus past participle, and also we have a different one that is when we use um, a, instead of a subject, I mean, instead of a, an object, we use person, okay. And it says that we're going to use have someone do something, okay? Uh, in in causative verbs, uh, with, with this structure, 
uh, with this formula in order to uh, say, okay, say who did the things. Yesterday we saw what were focused just in the action. And that's something that I've said before. But in this structure, we are focused in who did the action, who did it, okay? Who did the, that, that action that is happening in the sentence? It says that we can also use the construction of subject plus half plus person plus the infinitive, okay? Um, and it says that this has a very, very similar meaning to have something done. It doesn't mean the same, no, but it has similar meaning. But as I, as I said before, um, we are going to be focusing with this structure in the person or people that are uh, doing uh, the, the action, okay? Um, it says that which, well, it's similar to that. And also, uh, we talk about the person who we ask to do the thing for us. Uh, that's what uh, we mention in sentences like that. Check it out this example. It says, uh, I'm going to use a market. Check it out this. Um, let me see. It says, I had the electrician look at my broken light. Okay. I had the electrician look at my broken Light. If you notice there, we're using the structure. But uh, who is the person that did that action? Okay, who is the person that did it? Well, in this case, the person uh, is the electrician. Okay, that's a, he is the one, or maybe it could be she. She's the one that uh, did this action. Look on my broken light. Okay, look at my broken light. Check it out this, uh, this second example, and it says the doctor will have the nurse call the patients. Something that is different from the last structure is that in this one, we're going to use infinity. Okay, we're going to use infinity in this part. Um, a second, okay. Okay, this part. We are going to be using infinity. We are not using, we are not using past participle. Remember, with this type of sentence, we are going to be using infinity. What are infinitives? Uh, the verbs that doesn't have any specific tense. Um, then we have the other one, the, the other example that it says the teacher had the students okay people in this case write the answer on the whiteboard okay this structure is easy it's just use how okay had could be in in future could be in present could be in past but the oh we must add per the person or people that we're talking about and also we're going to be using a word what is the word here Right and right, it's written with um, uh, we wrote using um, infinitive, okay, infinitives. That's the 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 word that we're going to be using here. And then we have uh, something similar uh, to what uh, I mentioned before, but we're going to be using two plus the infinitive. Uh, it says that uh, get someone to do something. Uh, it's the formula to express causatives too. And um, it says that we can also use the construction get plus someone plus two plus infinity. And this means that uh, you cause the other person to do the action. What happened here in this part uh, you ask someone to do something, okay? And that person or those people uh, were the ones who developed that action. Um, also, uh, this action could be like maybe you pay for it, okay? 
uh, or you ask for it, uh, to do it or by asking them to do or by persuading them to do it. Here we have an example like she gets her son to do his homework by promising him ice cream when he's finished. Um, this is like the long sample that I have here, but we have a short one. And in this one, we can identify when we use this uh, formula, like I, that is the subject, got, that is the past for get, um, the cleaner, that is the person we are talking about, to clean, that is the infinitive, okay? Infinitive. I'm going to write this, infinitive, okay, person, This is the, uh, this is get, this is get, and this is the subject. Sorry for, for my writing, <laughs> but I'm using, I'm using my, my mouse, okay? Um, well, subject plus get plus person plus infinitive. And also we can add an extra information. And that's the way that how we, how we construct the, this type of sentence. Get someone to do something. Um, well, let me ask you, um, what is the purpose of this formula? What are we expressing with this, uh, with this type of sentence? Can you help me with it? Is there anyone who wants to participate? Mr. Gaviria? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Um, well, tell me, um, we can uh, identify when we are going to use this kind of sentence. On you that this class, maybe I don't understand. Okay, try it. Try it, sir. Don't worry. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm trying to uh, listen to you about it. Okay, very good. So uh, I'm going to tell you again when we are going to use this type of sentence. Uh, we use this type, of, this type of sentence. We want to express that someone do something. Like for instance, uh, Mr. Ramirez do, uh, do something, okay? Like uh, an example of it could be like, um, I had, okay, I had, uh, the musician played a, a, in a concert a, this night, okay? We are identifying I had, okay, I had, that's mean that someone a, do something, okay? Someone do something, and what is, a, or, or who we can identify the, some, the, the, the things that, that he did, um, well, we're going to use um, an infinity, okay, an infinity. And this type of sentence using get is like when uh, get someone to do something. It's, it has the same, the same uh, meaning as the previous one. But in this one, we're using get. And we, instead of using, um, instead of using uh, just the infinity, we are going to add the, um, um, preposition to, okay, get person plus preposition to plus the infinity. That's the formula that we're going to be using uh, with these type of sentences. We're going to see some examples here that you're going to be practicing. And uh, I have here, 
I wash my car. How we can construct a sentence using causative verbs? Um, we're going to do the first one and then you are going to work in the second one, okay? Uh, very good. So we're going to use um, the first one, the first example that we have here, and it says, I wash my car, okay? Uh, help me. The first thing that I have to use in, in causative uh, sentence is what? You remember? In the first one, we're going to be, we're going to use the subject, but we have to add the causative verb. And the causative verb is have, like this one. I have, check it out, I have, what happened here? What do we have to include after have? After have, we have to include the object. What is the object? My car. Check it out, this. I have, my car, okay, my car. And then what are we going to use? The, the, in, in this case, we can use um, infinitive or we can use the uh, past participle form of this uh, verb as we saw yesterday and also uh, as we saw today. I had my car could be like, wash okay wash or could be using infinitive instead of saying wash could be like i have my car a wash but if we use wash we must identify in this case uh in this case the person who did this action, okay? The person who did this action. How we do it? Check it out. Um, like using how plus the person plus the infinitive. Like uh, the doctor, okay? In this case, instead of saying uh, the doctor, we can say the washer, okay? The washer have, okay? Like this. Let me, let me help you with this. I mean, this one. Okay, like the washer, using, using the same one. Okay, um, give me a second, I'm going to use this. Uh, this. And let me try something. Like the washer okay, this I mean washer with uh, R. okay, the washer in this case, check it out this. We're identifying the, we're identifying the uh, subject, okay? This is the subject, the washer. Then we have to use have, okay, we have it, okay, have. And in this case, uh, we are going to use a person, a person plus infinitive. Um, like this. Okay, I have a problem. It's not working. Uh, it's not working. Give me a sec. Mm -hmm. I will stop sharing. 
Give me a second, I'm gonna try it again. Okay, it's working now. Okay, we're going to move to the slide that we're working on it. Okay, and this one. Okay, um, in this case, we have like the washer have a clean. Okay, click, I mean, sorry. Clean, clean, we must use clean here. Okay, okay. Clean the washer half clean. Okay, in this case we're going to use the past participle. My car. My car. How we do it then? Um, in this case, we're using we are, we want with the causative a uh, sentence. What we want is to express, okay, is to express uh, who did the action, who did it. Uh, in this case, we call like the person, uh, the washer, because we don't know the name, but we know that the washer did that action. Uh, in this sentence, this is the meaning that we want to give to the sentence. Um, in the first one, we have, I had my car wash, that is using the subject plus half, plus my car, in this case is like the object of the sentence and the past participle. In this case, we're using the past participle in this type of sentence. Uh, then we have the subject, then we have the half and also the object. Object, okay, and uh, the subject. This is what we're going to do with this sentence. Um, in, in, in here we have the, the, the direction with, with a, I mean, which verb we're going to use. In this case, we're using have, that is like using this, this one, uh, using have. But in the second one, we're going to use a get. How we can do it? Using this 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 structure, using this structure, as we saw in the uh, previous class, what could be the answer? Then we're going to see something uh, about this. Hello. Could be I get my car uh, washed. I get, but but we're going to be using this this sentence, the information of this sentence. Check it out. This I'm going to use a different color. I get my hair cut. Okay, I cut my hair, so it could be like I. I get my hair coat. My hair okay. my coat. Coat. Exactly. Exactly. Has, ha, that's the way that we have to do uh, the, the, the sentences here. Okay. That's the way that we have to do it. Uh, like I, because we're using causative. Okay. We are using causative. We must use uh, the verb have, I mean, the, 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 the auxiliary verb have. <laughs> And uh, the action is going to be after the object, like subject plus half 
plus object plus a past participle. What is the past participle of cut? Okay, or could. What is the past participle of could? You remember that? Cut. Could, exactly. Um, the past participle of could is could. Um, we are going to see the example number three. Please, what you are going to do right now is like type the sentence uh, in the chat of, of this video conference. Uh, send it to me. Um, you can use in order to, uh, well, you, what, what you're going to do is like send it, send, send the, this sentence. I'm going to uh, highlight this part. Give me a second. I'm going to use purple. You are going to send me this sentence to the chat, but use the option there that it says uh, private, okay? Uh, that means send, send me uh, the message uh, directly to my name or my chat. Um, there you have in the, in, in, the, in the, you have a menu there, but you have the old, uh, the names of all people that are connect, connected and, um, but you must use a direct message. That means using my name. Okay, uh, Mr. Escobar did it, and Mr. Lopez too. Okay, I'm going to wait for the rest of you. Please send me the sentence number three using the structure that we saw um, in this in this. Uh, in this class, well, the class that we saw yesterday in this one. Okay, um, someone is asking me to repeat the instructions there. Um, I was telling you that you have to um, uh, rewrite, okay? Rewrite this sentence. You're going to rewrite this sentence using causative. Rewrite this sentence using causative something similar to what we did here with this sentence. It's something similar to what we did with this one. We're going to re rewrite. Uh, Mr. Ramirez, do you send? Oh, yes, you did it. Uh, let me see, Mr. Escobar, too. Mr. Rivas. Um, uh, Mr. Rivas, you must use the, 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 this example, the ones that we have on in, the, uh, in my screen. Check it out, this. This is the sentence that you have to rewrite. This
Okay, very good. Well, you did it. Uh, you complete the exercise. What we're going to uh, use this time from a uh, from now on, that is um, a, a and a half. Okay, we're going to use this time in order to complete the exercise that we have in the uh, platform. We're going to be focusing in this exercise. And you must go to the exercise 4.2 like this one, 4.2, that it says knowledge check. This is related to the video that we saw yesterday that is using causative. And the instruction says, imagine you want to have someone do these things for you, okay? That's, that's the instruction. You are going to imagine that you want to have someone do the things for you, okay? Uh, it's like a, Try to imagine a uh, try to imagine you paying someone to do the things that you that you want. Um, and it says that choose using the active form of have or and get. And this is a multiple uh, multiple uh, choice. And this is uh, we have eight uh, examples here and um, you must identify which is the, the, the right one, okay? We must identify which uh, uh, example here is using the formula that we, that we saw uh, in, the, in the previous class, okay? And in this class. Uh, go to the exercise, check it out this. The exercise 4.2 is section number four, section number four, and then we have to click in the exercise 4.2. Do you have it on your screen? Do you have it? Hello? Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good, excellent. So you are going to have a, let me see, six minutes. Okay, you're going to have just six minutes to complete this exercise and then you are going to give me um, the answers that you, that you sent to this uh, exercise, okay? Please go there. If you complete it, nice, very good. Then you are going to share me the information but if you haven't complete this exercise please complete it and then tell me um uh, the instructions that you were using here in these uh examples there you have okay there you have the key in order to complete to choose in order to choose uh the sentence that it, it has to be used Okay, six minutes, it start right now. If you have any question, please do not hesitate in tell me. Okay, please, if you have a question, tell me and I will be answering you.
Okay, time is over. Um, tell me, what, what answer do you have in the first one? The first, do you yes. know when I can get someone? The shorten my spears. That's the first sentence. The first sentence. It says like, do you know where I can get yes. someone to shorten my skirt? Okay. Very good. Yes, excellent. Uh, let me see. I have a, a, a someone who asks something here it says uh, i don't understand the number one why is using short shorten ah in this case we're using infinitive uh we're using um in in this sentence to shorten that is an infinitive verb like uh it's like um like uh, putting a piece of the skirt and in, in, in making it like small to shorten. It's uh, an infinitive verb. Uh, miss, I don't know if you. If, let me see who wrote this. Miss Rivas, Miss Rivas. Okay. Miss Rivas? Are you there? Okay, okay. Um, in the sentence number two, it says, cut my hair. Which one do you have there? Which sentence? Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Or do you know where can I have someone to cut my hair? Tell me. Which one? Do you know where I can get someone to cut okay. my hair? Very good. In this case, we're using I can get a, a, the subject in this case plus get plus. Uh, someone plus the, uh, the infinitive in this case to get my hair. In the sentence number three, okay, tell me which one. Do you know where I can I can get someone to repair my watch? My Very watch. good, excellent. Okay, why we're not using why we're not using the second one? Can you tell me that? why we are not using the second sentence what is the mistake in the second sentence like in this one uh do you know where i can have someone to repair my watch what is the mistake can you identify that repair it repair okay why uh, we're using, uh, well, it could be like, um, in this case, we're using repair uh, that is in past uh, in the root uh, that we saw in the slide, it says that we must use the infinitive. Uh, and if we use the infinitive, that means that we're going to use the verb in a, in a base form, okay? And this one, we're using the past of that uh, verb. Let's see the sentence number four. Uh, which one? Do you know? Do you know where? Do you know where I can get someone to fly my scooter? To what? You mean to what? The number. The number four. Fix my scooter. 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 Do you know where I can get someone to flex in my scooter? Okay, to fix my scooter, to fix. fix. Okay, to fix. fix my scooter, very good. Uh, do you know where I can have someone 
to fix my scooter. Yes, why we're using that? Because we are, we are using infinitive. And why uh, we are not using the sentence number one? What is the mistake here? What is the mistake? ING. Yeah, ING. ING. Exactly, yeah. we're using ING. And, and what do we have to, to, to use there? Instead of using ING form, we have to use? Infinitive, like this one, fix. Okay, instead of using ing, we have to use infinitive. Okay, uh, in the sentence number five, okay. tell me, take my passport photo. Which one? Do you know where I can get someone to take my passport photo? Exactly. And what is the mistake in the in the sentence number two? What is the mistake in the sentence number two? This one, okay? What is the mistake in this sentence? The verb has. Has, what happened with has? With the third person. No one. It's third person and we have to use the base form. In this case, the auxiliary uh, verb must be in, in its base form, okay? Have, using have. Very good. Uh, in the sentence number six, which one is the correct one? Do you know where I can get someone to, to message my neck? Okay, do you know where I... I mean, sorry. Los demás no saben. Uh, which one? The first one or the second one? First one. First one, okay. Why we're not using uh, the second sentence? What is the mistake in the second sentence? Oh. What is the mistake? Okay, everybody? How? Hi. The mistake. The mistake is not. I can have, have. Not infinitive, the pair to cleanness. And then no, number no, no. one. In, is I, mean, I mean, in the, in the sentence number six, this one. Do you know where I can uh, have someone to answer? Have. 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 The, the mistake is have? Are you mistake. sure? No. What is the mistake? The mistake. It's an insane. Massage. Oh, massage. 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 We're using, exactly, we're using a word like in third person. We have to use infinity in, in, in uh, using the base form of that, uh, of that verb. Uh, what about the number seven? Which one is the correct one? And why we're not using the, the incorrect The correct is the second. Is the second. Do you know where I can have someone to clean my leather jacket? And what is the mistake in the first one? In the first one, the cleaner is in the past. It's in the past, exactly. It's in the past. Okay. In the number eight, um, which one is the correct one? The second. The second one. Yeah. Okay, do you know where I can have someone to take care of my pets while I'm away? What is the mistake in the first one? What is the mistake in the in the in that sentence? In this one? What is the mistake? Hello? Hey. What is um, the someone the word get the word get the someone is um, not correct in the first it's not, okay very good the mistake there is that uh, we haven't uh, used someone correctly what is the correct form uh, what is the correct writing okay or a spelling what is the correct spelling of someone can you tell me that 
¿Cuándo está el pellejo, está en Rafa? Omirin, just omirin, W, ¿ok? El pellejo, o sea, yo haría lo mismo. Si Rafa contesta, significa que solo él puede. Pedro, pone mute, por favor. Eh, Sorry. Uh, Isn't sorry. The, another exercise in, in the material the solid. I'm sorry. <laughs> you mean? With my son. Talking about with my son. <laughs> You're talking about your son. Yes, it's uh, in, a, in another, uh, uh, in the fluid, solid. And sometimes I, a little class in the night, but it's a little question for the exercise. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I thought you were talking about this exercise and I say, oh, what? <laughs> Okay, uh, very good. Um, we're going to see. Oh, oh, well, we're going to see. We're going. To, I'm going to send this, and we're going to see uh, which one do you have correct. Okay, in this case, you have correct all of them. What you're going to do right now is uh, complete this exercise. If you complete it, okay, if you complete this exercise, uh, please send that exercise and, and then we're going to see the following. Okay, um, tomorrow we're going to be working on this. Um, in the lesson, uh, in, I mean, the lesson objective for tomorrow's class, it, it is. Um, you will learn three words, phrasal words, in order to increase your vocabulary and to help you talk about services and dating, okay? Uh, I'm going to give you a homework. And the homework is to look for three, ver three words, phrasal words in English. You're going to look for it uh, if you have time, maybe uh, in, in, in a day, if you have time, please Google it, okay? Three word phrasal verbs. That's what you are going to look for. And you are going to give me tomorrow um, the, those phrasal verbs and the meaning of those phrasal verbs. Okay, that's what you are going to do. Look for phrasal verbs and the meaning of those phrasal verbs. Um, that we're going to be using in some exercises tomorrow. Uh, when I say the meaning, it's like the meaning, okay? No, the translation, because maybe we can confuse that. Uh, what, I, what I need is the meaning of those uh, phrases. I don't know if it's clear the instruction, because I want to check that. Is it clear? When I say meaning and no translation, Teacher, I can barely hear you. You can hear me. Because I'm going to stop this, the, the video. Yeah, okay? because I'm going to I don't stop know. This. The Wi Fi is, is really bad. Okay, okay, very That's good. Why can I you can, hear me? Can you hear me I better? Is it better yes. now? Yeah. Okay, very good. I was telling you that uh, for tomorrow, I want you to do a homework. Okay, this is not like uh, you're going to send me something. No, what I need to I need um, for tomorrow is that you can Google it uh, in there um, and look for three word phrasal verbs. That's what you're going to do. Three word phrasal verbs, and you are going to identify the phrasal verb and the meaning of that phrasal verb. And when I say meaning, I'm not referring to translation. I, I don't want that. I don't want translation. What I want is the meaning of those phrasal verbs, when we use it, okay? Um, in what context we use those phrasal verbs. Uh, I want the whole information in English and I will be asking you tomorrow night uh, those phrasal verbs because we are going to be using. You can also check the video that you have in the platform. There you're going to find three word phrasal verbs too. Um, and you can check 
well, and later on, you can check uh, the meaning of those phrasal verbs. Uh, is it clear what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Ramirez and Miss Rivas say yes. What about Miss Campos, Miss Gavidia, Miss Escobar? Ah, uh, Mr. Gavidia, sorry, Miss Escobar and Mr. Lopez. Is it clear the instruction? Yes. yes. Okay, very good, Miss Campos. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you uh, for it. So, uh, do you have any question? Do you have any question right now? Do you have any question? No. Ah, we, we, we're going to be using something uh, that may be like interesting for you. Uh, for instance, if I ask you, uh, do you have any question? You can use reactions like uh, the ones that, that that we have there in the in, in, in the bottom in Zoom. I don't know if you can see that. It's like reaction. Uh, if you if if you have a question, if you don't have a question, just give me a thumbs up. Okay. In that way, I'm going. I'm, I will notice that you don't have questions. Okay. Please give me a thumbs up in reactions. Or maybe if you have it in Spanish, it's like reacciones. Okay, you have a important. Thank you, Miss Rivas. And you give a thumbs up, Mr. Castillo. Very good, excellent. We're going to be using reaction because it's better if we use it instead of be opening and, and muting the microphone. Okay, and, and very good. Thank you, sir, um, Mr. Ramirez. Thank you. Uh, well, we're going to be uh, working tomorrow night in the uh, in the following topic that we have we are going to be developing remember please remember and uh, i saw that miss uh, elena sent to you a message that you must complete the 80 percent of the exercise in the platform please do it because you are going to be uh, a, well, you are going to get the certification if you do it eh, because it's necessary. And also eh, in that way, we're going to notice that you are going to be able to go to the following level. Please do it till you have till, I don't know if it's a, a 18, okay, I guess, uh, but you have to complete it eh, till that day. Uh, so that's all for tonight, guys. Blessing to all of you and uh, have a nice night. Okay, bye bye. Bye, teacher. Tomorrow, bye. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, everyone. Tomorrow. <laughs>